Hi all, this video will be a continuation of series of videos about figures and in it. I will tell you about the chemical methods for post-processing PLA plastic after 3D printing on FDM printer. In previous videos we have already considered how the process of painting and printing was done, how the result was and what processing options were done. But today we will check a chemical way to smooth out the models. What are the positive moments of this method? Layers are smoothed out in just a few seconds. The plastic becomes smoother. No need to spend time on manual processing. The whole process takes just a few seconds and is found in the immersion of the finished model in a liquid. Compared to the other stroking methods where you have to use a paste or something like that on the models, the chemical method is much easier and quicker. Due to the properties of the solvent, the model dries fairly quicker after immersion and is ready for further processing. Oh yes, another plus for the painting, after solvent and drying, the model can be immediately primed. It is perfectly degreased and ready to be primed for painting. Looking ahead, I want to remind you about the negative side of this method. They are few, but they are. The most important thing is the toxicity of the solvent. Be extremely careful if you decide to do the same as I did. Be sure to wear personal protective equipment. Process your model only in a well-ventilated area or even outside in fresh air, if it's possible for sure. Solvent is especially hazardous to health, so follow the safety precautions. For more detailed information you can read the instruction on how to use it, but I warned you, do not neglect your protective equipment. In addition to toxicity, the model after processing may lose some small tiny details. Since the whole model will be smoothed, some small details may be lost. Yes, you can say the detailing on the FDM prints is not so great, but here they can become even less. After chemical treatment, PLA changes property. The model becomes less flexible when heated. I don't think that this is critical for artistic products like my minifigures, but still good to mention. As an experiment I use not only figure of the Minotaur, but also some objects of the environment. I also try different time spent in the solvent. And again, the spoiler, the longer you hold the finished model in the solvent, the smoother it will be. But be careful, if you hold the model for too long. The plastic can dissolve and you will lose all the details. As the practice on the monitor has shown, 2-3 seconds is quite enough for a smooth and good result. Let's take a closer look at what happened after the dive. All models are smoother. If we will take a look closer, on some areas uh, the layers are not visible at all. I was pleasantly surprised that on thin model of tree, uh, with dimension that I made a mistake when printing, and it turned out to be quite something really small and useful, but I still decide to check how it will be reacting with solvent. And the result is also visible, and what I was surprised the branches did not dissolve. I consider this as a successful test. Well, before we move to the final review, I'd like to summarize. The results suited me. Yes, I still need to learn how to paint the models better than I do now, but here's only practice will come to the rescue. As for smoothing models, the result is quite good. If you have the ability to safely do this, just do it. It will definitely help your FDM figures look smoother and remove layer traces. And in just a couple of seconds we move on to the final results. Thanks for watching, subscribe and please leave a comment what do you think about this processing method. And one more thing, here is such a spoiler for you. I went to unpack a SLA printer. Ok, let's move to the final result.